Welcome back. So before we understood that the people always do the best they can in any given moment. Now the other thing is that based on so many factors, people understand what they can understand based on their filters, cultural filters, language filters, whatever kind of filters they use, they are trained to use by growing up, by culture, by society, by belief systems, whatever it is. That on the other end means that if you say blue, they may see something different than your blue. It may be any kind of bluish, but it may not be exactly the same blue. And the basic assumption here, the foundation on what we build our action is the map is not the territory. So if you look on a map, it's totally different than if you really there at the place and look around for the simple fact that the map is just two in the meanwhile kind of three dimensional but it never ever gives you all the details and all the information you will see here and feel if you are there it does not give you the noise of the river going through the area it will not give you the sound of the of the trees in the wind or the birds in the air it does not give you the smell it just gives you a representation of the area but it never ever can give you the whole feeling the smell the hear the see the taste it can't so it's same with people if you talk to somebody else he has a different perception set of perceptions about what you say than you do he has his own map, his own interpretation. And therefore, you must always assume that he may understand something different than you have in mind. So make sure you are on the same page. Make sure you ask the right questions after you find out something is not working here. That is also where the power of question can help you a lot. If you say, go to this place, and he goes to another place, he may have used a different map. And this is not only true for locations. If you say, let's meet in a bit, he may come 30 minutes later, but you were thinking about five minutes. So what is a bit? In his map, the territory is 30 minutes. In your map, the territory is five minutes. So make sure you understand that the map is not the territory, and that you always can ask powerful questions to get it right. Now, let's meet in a bit. By the way, what does in a bit mean to you? Oh, it's 30 minutes. All right, I was thinking about five minutes. So maybe we can meet up in 15 minutes. Is that okay for you? So this is the power of question. So never, never assume that what you say is exactly what the other person understands. And always assume that the map is not the territory and his interpretation of what you said is totally different from what you said. This is also known as miscommunication. So to avoid these things, ask powerful questions and make sure everybody is on the same page. Have fun doing that and bear with me. There are some more basic foundation rules and strategies which help you to get even more successful and stay more happy. See you again in a bit. Hi, welcome back. Like I promised, I will give you some more information and strategies how you can achieve a higher level of energy right away, how you can become more happy and more successful right away. And this is you understand and accept that people always do the best they can in that particular moment. So whenever somebody does something which you feel it's not appropriate, which is not okay, it's the best he or she can do at that moment. Based on that assumption, you then can start asking powerful questions, like, how come you feel like that? Like, what can we do to solve this situation? How can we proceed to make the whole situation better for you and for me? If you base all your behavior and your action on the assumption that this person did anything he or she could do at that particular moment, it helps you to ask 
so much better questions. Rather than saying, why did you do that? Which gives you any kind of results. And it may be false, it may be true, it may be not true, it may be, I don't know. But rather than asking, why did you do that? Just assume that this person did anything in his capacity the best he can do. And then ask the powerful question, how can we go now? Where can we move next? What can we do to solve this problem? These are powerful questions, solving questions, and they help you to get successful and get along with almost everybody, as long as you assume that everybody is giving the best he can give at any given moment. In the next chapter, we talk about some other foundation of thinking and building blocks of success. See you in a bit. Did you ever achieved the wrong goal or not the goal at all? You had your goal set and you tried hard and you tried harder, but you never could get there. And did you feel that this was a failure? Did you have the feeling all over your body and your mind and your soul that you just failed? Well, I did. I had that happen to me several times when I was younger. But then I learned something. And this is very important for you to understand. There is no such thing as failure. There is only feedback. And if you take whatever the result is, if it's a desired outcome or not, if you take it as feedback, you have the chance with powerful questions to change your approach and achieve your goal faster and more easy. So whatever happens to you, no matter how bad it is, ask yourself powerful questions and treat the situation not as failure, but as feedback. Because something you did before or some circumstances you did not take in consideration created the result you have to live with right now. But that does not necessarily mean you did fail. It just means that the result is a different one when you're anticipated. So this is great feedback to you. That means you can change. Next time, if you ask the right questions before you do it again, you alter your approach, you do something different, and then with the help of powerful questions, you will be successful. So no matter what it is, no matter what you achieve, if it is the desired result or not, it's all feedback. And yes, you are always invited to do it again, try it again. There is no such thing as failure, it's just feedback. If you fall down, just get up again, do it differently. With the powerful questions, you can get out of the situation. As long as you don't treat the situation as failure, just as feedback and ask the right powerful questions, you get out of it. You can get better. You can get more successful and more happier. Very easy. So always think about, there is no such thing as failure, just feedback. And you have always the chance of doing it again and doing it better next time. If you know how and what you do, where you do it and with whom you do it. So always ask powerful questions. I truly hope this is gonna help you out of whatever situation you are in, because it helps me and it helps everybody else I know. Don't ask the weakening question. Ask powerful questions and treat anything as feedback. So here's my feedback for you. Very well done. We are almost at the end of this little show. So join me for the last chapter and then Let's have a lot of fun together in applying powerful questions in the real world. See you in a bit.